Hi, my name is Deepna from the George Memorial Library and I'm going to show you how to download apps onto your Android phone. This phone is a Google Pixel 3a, so depending on the software and version of your phone, some of the features may look a little different. So when you first got your phone, it came with some pre-installed apps. One of these apps is called the Play Store, also known as Google Play. The Play Store is where we will go to search for and download apps. So to see all the apps on my phone, I'm going to scroll up and it shows all the apps in alphabetical order. So I'm going to look for the Play Store. You may have to swipe left to see all the apps on your phone depending on what kind you have. So this is what the Play Store icon looks like. And so we're going to tap on it once. Right on top, there's a search bar where you can type in the name of a specific app or you can type in a descriptive search like photo editor, puzzle games. Below the search bar, it says for you, top charts and categories. So I'm going to click on categories. Here it shows apps divided by topic. So if you're looking for photography apps, you would look for photography. Tap on it once, and it shows all the photography apps that you can download. You would just click on an icon, and you can read more about it. So we're going to go back, and we're going to try to search for a specific app in the search bar. So we're going to search for Hoopla Digital. So right on top, it shows the Hoopla Digital app. If you scroll down a little, it shows similar apps that you may like, um, similar apps and apps that you may like. So we're going to go back to Hoopla, and I'm going to click on the icon. Here it shows more details about the app. It has a 4.7 star rating out of 89,000 reviews. It, has, it was downloaded 1 million plus times and is recommended for teens and above. Below that is the install button, but before we click on it, we want to, make sure, we want to learn more about the app. You always want to read about an app before you download it. So it shows screenshots of the app. This is a preview of what the app's going to look like. So I'm going to swipe left to see more pictures. And then we're going to go back. Next, we have About This App. It says that this is an app where you can borrow ebooks, audiobooks, comics, music, movies, and TV free with a library card. You can click on the arrow next to it to read more. And lastly, we have the app's ratings and reviews. So now we're ready to install. We're going to scroll back up. And so before we install, just remember that most apps can be downloaded for free, but some of them you have to pay for. If it says install, like this one does, the app is free. Otherwise, it'll show the price of the app. Some apps are free to download, but they may have in-app purchases to unlock more features. So this app is free, so I'm going to tap on install to download it onto my phone. So install. Once it's done installing, or once it's done downloading, you can tap on the open button and it'll open up the app. So it's done installing and when tap open, so this is the Hoopla app. If you have a Hoopla account, you can log in or you can tap on the sign up button to create an account. All you need is a valid Fort Bend library card and PIN. So now I'm going to close the app and go back to my home page. So I'm going to look at all the apps on my phone just to make sure Hoopla is there. So if you scroll back up, we're going to look for Hoopla and it's right over here. So now we know that the app has downloaded it. 
downloaded and we know how to find it. So to review, if you have an Android phone, use the pre-installed Play Store app, which was this one. Use the pre-installed Play Store app to search for and download more apps, services, and media onto your phone. You can search for a specific app, or you can browse categories. Look at editor choices and similar apps. But remember to always, always, always read more about an app before you download it. Use your best judgment to make sure it's legit. Look at the info about the app, the screenshots, and read a few reviews. Remember that some apps are free, but they may still have ads and in-app purchases. I hope this video helped you download apps. Um, if you have any questions, let us know. Happy downloading and take care.